guys, I'm Coach Luke, and I'm here to show you how to tie your first jiu-jitsu belt and gi, okay? So, it's gonna come in a package like this. So, it's gonna come with a tag. It'll tell you all the instructions you need to know on how to care for it, don't bleach it, dry clean it, etc. If it fits good, you don't wanna throw it in the dryer or you don't wanna wash it in hot water, or air dry it. If it's a little bit too big, you can shrink it till it fits the right size and then start air drying it, okay? So, I'm gonna rip the tag off. And I'm gonna start it with the pants. All right, so pants, I'm gonna have these belt loops in front. Okay, the strings are gonna be on the side. Step in. And I'm gonna go over the first mistake that people generally make, okay? So they're really baggy, right? So people think the pants are too big for me. And they'll put them through the belt loops and then they'll tie it in a bow like this. And you see it's all bunched up. Okay, that's a sign you're doing it wrong. So what I need to do after I put it through the belt loops, I need to pull the string sideways, take all the slack out, okay? Now it's nice and tight. Remember, people are allowed to grab your pants. They're allowed to get grips on them. So it needs to be very secure. A lot of times the strings are long because you wanna double knot it, to make sure it doesn't come undone. Okay, I'm gonna single knot it for now, but double knot it when you're actually training. Okay, so now the gi, all right? We put it on. I want the part with the patch, okay? Part with the logo. That's gonna go over the top as opposed to this, okay? So it should only be like a little bit of your chest showing. It shouldn't be like uh, wide open like this. So I cross it over. Now I'm gonna start with the belt, okay? So I'm gonna have the bar on my right hand side on uh, these that aren't black. It's gonna be a white bar. Black belts usually have the red. I'm gonna make sure it's even, okay? I start from back to front. When I do this, okay, I make sure both sides are correct. I like to even it out so there's no overlap. I prefer it doesn't look sloppy like this, okay? So I'll even it out so it looks like one solid belt, okay? And then you're gonna see, I'm gonna have like a little X crossed like this. I'm gonna pull the top of the X under both of the belts, okay? Not under one. Your belt should not be able to talk afterwards. That's how I explain it to the kids. Okay. So now I'm going to cross an X over again. Top goes over the bottom. Once again, I pull the top through the middle and I tighten it sideways, not up and down. Okay. Done right. So look kind of like a fortune cookie. And there we are. Good to go. That's one way I could tie my belt. Some people like this method. I've only done this a couple of times, so bear with me. Okay. So now I'm going to start with just one side of the belt on my belly. I'm gonna wrap it all the way around from back to front. And again, people like this method cause it's a good way of having no overlap. But you can also have no overlap by doing the way I just showed you. All right, so now you see I got one long tail and one short tail. I'm gonna find the tails of the belt and now I'm gonna even it out just like we did before. Okay, I make sure both sides are even. And from here it's the same, okay? I have the top of the X goes under both of the belts, pull sideways. I cross the X over again, okay? Top over the bottom again, pull the top through the middle and pull it sideways. Different way, again, the same result, okay? And generally in class, good etiquette, I'm gonna face the wall when I'm tying my belt, so by the time I turn around, present myself to the class and my instructors, it looks presentable, okay? And that's how you tie your first jujitsu belt in gi. All right, guys, so I just showed you how to tie your belt. Now I want you to practice along with me at home.
Now we're gonna practice the second variation. Make sure we practice at least three times along with me. Remember we can practice this all by ourselves at home. hope you liked the video if you like it make sure to like and subscribe hit the button also we have another uh video on our playlist under gi in uniform that talks a lot about how to care for the gi how to make sure it smells good etc uh white gis how to care for those specifically and make sure you share it with your friends thanks guys